What up, y'all? It's Q here. I know it's been a minute. I know. My bad, my bad. So, yeah, just wanted to update you guys on what's going on here in my life. Um, so, basically, we don't know where the economy is going. We're in a recession. Some people say we're not in it yet. It's really causing a lot of uncertainty uh, in the country and with me. I wanted to possibly make a change where I get a job that brings in money consistently and it can help me fund my business and the things that I want to do, especially within this uncertainty. So I decided to take a boot camp. Of course, Careers is the name of the boot camp. It's a tech sales boot camp. If you don't know what tech sales is, briefly, it's basically sales, but for tech products. So SaaS products, software as a service, and things like that. So it's B2B, it's not B2C, it's not like car salesman, anything like that. I also wanted something that I could learn, a skill that I could use within my video production business. So sales is definitely somewhere that I needed some help in, and this is gonna teach me that. So. Here we are, again, I have five tips for you on uh, how to succeed in your course careers bootcamp. So here we go. As far as part of my journey, I found uh, Cyrus Harbin on YouTube, like a lot of plenty others. I found him via Anthony O'Neill, and I remember the day, it was Thanksgiving Eve. Man, I remember it like it was yesterday, but you know, we'll save that for another video. But yeah, as you can imagine, I'll have an affiliate link below that you can use if you wanna take $50 off if you decide to take the course. But let me get to it, five tips on how to succeed in your course careers bootcamp. So starting with tip number one, uh, listen to your books on audiobook. At least for me, it was the most time efficient thing. I really wanted to get through the course as fast as possible. And I ended up doing it in about eight days. I'll say eight days. Um, I didn't take the exam and finish everything like that. I took a, about a week or two to study for the exam first. And I'll speak to that later. But yeah, I wanted to be as efficient with my time as possible. So. So what I actually did was take the quiz that they give you after you read the book before I read the book. And what that did for me is it let me know exactly what I needed to learn and what I needed to focus on when I was to read the book. I feel like if I would have read the book first, I would have just tried to absorb all the information. And as you can imagine, it's so much information. It's probably not recommended, but for me it worked and it was way more efficient. Um, but I did read the books or listen to the books, you know, while I'm at the gym, if I'm playing basketball, things like that, so that I can still absorb it. And from the quiz that I took, now I get to hear things and they stand out to me. Um, but also with that, the reason why you want to read the books is because you want to have the context. You really need the context because when you get to the quiz, they're going to ask you to speak to some of the things you learned from the book as opposed to just picking multiple choice. So, you know, what that means is in the spin sales cycle, they're gonna ask you what the acronyms mean. As far as prospecting, they may ask you why, from fanatical prospecting, why is prospecting so important? You really wanna know that context so that that information is really embedded into your brain and you're not just trying to memorize things. So yeah, that's tip number one. So tip number two, update your LinkedIn immediately. I mean, as soon as you start the course, you decide to start the course, that should be up on your LinkedIn, letting people know. It's really the, the business version of Facebook and you have to be active. You wanna be in front of people's you know page and things like that. So you immediately wanna start updating your LinkedIn and posting what you're doing. On top of that, you also wanna start making connections. If you're not already at about 500 connections, you're gonna to wanna to get the number there. Like most of us do, we add each other, you know, so that we get to that number. But I would say, besides just adding students that are in the same class, you really wanna add recruiters that work at companies that you wanna work for that, you know, maybe you can speak to and make a connection about. And then also the employees that work in the job that you wanna work. So the SDRs that work at the companies that you wanna work for. At any point in time, you could reach out to them, have a conversation. From what I've seen, they've been pretty open to have conversations about the job. So that can really help you big time. So yeah, make connections, but try to make connections with you know employees and recruiters as well. And that's tip number two. Okay, tip number three, start applying before you feel like you're ready. It's very rare that you apply and you have an interview, say the same week. 
Um, sometimes it takes a while and even that first interview may be a phone interview that's just kind of screening you. So what you want to do is start applying not as soon as possible, but I would say at about 50%. If you're 50% done with the course, I'd say at about 50%, you can at least speak to some of the things that you know your job will be doing. But again, there's a buffer. So you might not even get that interview or maybe the second interview until you're done with the course. If you're doing it at a steady pace, you know you're gonna finish it within the month, month and a half, I would start applying, like I said, at 50%. A good amount of people, not a lot, but a good amount of people did get job offers and opportunities before they even finished the course. So there's no reason to wait. Let that time go by while you're finishing it up and learning things and yeah, start applying. I personally took a step back after applying to a bunch of jobs after I finished the exam. I probably put in a hundred, I know that's not a ton, but I put in a hundred and I felt like I was gonna get at least an interview. And I think I got one out of the a hundred. And that was really using the Bray effect where I'm just throwing out, I'm just throwing out applications anywhere any company that needs an SDR. I wasn't personalizing my resume. And you're gonna to wanna to do those things. Try to find companies that maybe you could speak to. You have, if you have experience in real estate, maybe, you know, applying for real estate SaaS companies as opposed to any company, they really prefer it if you personalize the resume for the job so that it really specifically speaks to that job. But with all that to say, you do want to be applying before you feel like you're ready so that you can get the ball rolling. And that's tip number three. Okay, tip number four, don't rush the exam. I would go through the course the first time and before I take that exam, I went through the course again, just so that I can go back and remember and really dial in all the things that are new to me. All the things that I felt like I knew, but I really wanted to double down on the information. I would take a step back before I rush to the exam, um, maybe take a week, maybe two weeks where you could brush up on the information. There's a study guide that Tracy made and I'll have a link below um, but there's a study guide great study guide that she made that really helped me for sure but i'm also a visual learner i'm a visual person i mean i do video so for me i needed something more visual so i created a mind map that kind of shows the sales cycle and i'll either put that on the screen or include that link as well but yeah for me i wanted to see the sales cycle kind of broken down into each step and then from there, it shows you which step of the process do you use specific tools. So Zoom Info, you'll learn, Apollo, you'll learn, um, the spin, sales cycle, bent, all of that. I wanted that so that I can see the process at what stage are they used. And that helped me a lot. When I took the exam, I think I actually made it after I took it the first time. I might have gotten a 76 the first time, and I think I got a 92 the second time. But yeah, the visual aspect of the sales cycle definitely helped me. That's tip number four. Tip number five, try to create a routine. Especially like me, if you do not have a job, make this your job. I personally had a morning routine that I would do and then I would spend six to eight hours learning everything from the course. The course is self-paced, so it is up to you. You can create whatever schedule you want. Like if you have a job, you know, that schedule is probably gonna be different for you. You might, after work, have to take two or three hours, but whatever that is, try to create a regular routine for you because um, you're gonna speak to that. In the interviews, they're gonna ask, how do you prioritize your task? and things that you have to do and you know even if you're not in the SDR role already you want to be able to speak to what's personal to you and how you delegate things that helped me a lot like I said I would have my gym routine and that's when I would listen to the audiobooks and then I would come back home get on the desk you know do the learning go through the course and all of those things so so yeah that is tip number Five. Tip number six and a bonus, you have to do the job in order to get the job. And this was probably the biggest tip, greatest tip for me. I love the course because they actually teach you how to fish, meaning the exact same things that you do on the job is what you can use to find your job meaning prospecting is, is the first step that you do on the job as an SDR, and that's finding your ideal customer profiles, basically the avatar for your business. So it's the same way when you're looking for a job, you can find a company that really fits within what you do and what you like, 
and that's your ideal customer profile. So now after that, you can also use Apollo or Zoom info to find the people that are the decision makers. You can use LinkedIn too, but this is where you'll find the people who are the decision makers for the position that you're looking for. So meaning, you know, sales director, the head of sales, president of sales, anything like that. So you can find them and this is where you can now outreach to them. You can create a sequence of DMs, emails, phone calls, any combination of three yeah you're really doing your job to find the job so that also shows to them that you know how to do it I've had someone speak to me in the interview and ask how I found they asked me how I found the employees within the company that I reached out to to learn more about the job and I told them I, I prospected you know it's, it's my job I used zoom info and other tools to find them and reach out to them on linkedin and that that's where it was so they were very impressed with that and i'd imagine they'd be impressed with you doing that as well so that is the bonus tip number six so yeah is it worth it absolutely if you couldn't tell it's a 500 dollars course if i never said the price is 500 dollars of course you get $50 off with the link so it's 450 for you if you want to get started but yeah it's it's definitely worth it specifically if you're coming from a non-sales background like me I come from a creative background and I really don't know anything about sales but it's something that I need to learn so for me I think it's definitely worth it and then like I said the aspect of teaching you how to fish teaching you how to get the job um, I think it's huge and it's very valuable it costs you know significantly less than a lot of the other boot camps that promise to get you into tech sales and tech in general so yes to me it's absolutely worth it so yes that's a little bit of my journey and five tips that can help you with your course careers boot camp if you're deciding to take it again i'll have another video in the future comparing careerist and course careers because i did do both but look out for that. Until then, I will see you later and thank you for staying to the end. Peace.